Hi YouTube, okay, so I'm out here doing gardening, so never mind, I look like a mountain man, I sort of am, but anyway, ditch medicine, I'm not a doctor, this is the way I do it, and it works for me, and if you're in a situation where you need help, here's basically what it is, all you need is salt, sea salt's great, water, you boil the, you boil the water, create a saline solution, 8 ounces, and you put the half teaspoon of salt in the water, and you boil it, something like this, then stick your, um, handy um, irrigator. I've got two different ones in my first aid kit and um, put them in the um, water to um, sanitize them. Anyway, so once you've done that, um, in my case I had a mirror. I get a mirror ready. These stamp dogs. Um, then I had my glasses, for magnifying glasses, magnifiers. Hey, quiet! Sorry about that. Damn, next door dog. Um, Put a bandana on it to remove the hair from my face, and when I get the water in there, it's not it's absorbing instead of flying all over. It gives you more control, like surgeons. Anyway, so what you do if the thing is not going to be behind your eyeball, the torn contact or whatever it is, it's in there. It's going to be in the perimeter, probably lodged in there. It'll have some mucusy um, eye fluid that's kind of bunging up on it to control it. Um, it's just your body doing its thing, the mucus. Um, so anyway, I irrigate my eye, I used this thing, just gently with two hands, holding the tip, bracing it so I don't poke my eye, irrigating all around the perimeter, pulling back my eyelid and irrigating it to loosen up that mucus, which I know is around the object. In my case, I could fill it up on the top up here, but I wasn't quite sure. So anyway. Turns out it was up there. So if you're alone, um, like I was, just pull your eyelid up, hold it next to the mirror, keep looking, but pull it really hard and get it up there. Don't damage your eye, don't poke your eye. Don't slip, poke your eye. Keep inspecting the entire perimeter and in the light all the way around. And you'll see it, and boom, I saw it. I said, there it is. It was in this corner up here. So I just lifted this finger up and then with my right hand that's holding the camera, um, swabbed it, pushed it down to the center, it was loosened because of my saline fluid. It was stuck up there because of the mucus and all that crap. Um, and then um, pushed it down to the center and pulled it out. And then I re-irrigated my eye, again because I knew it was kind of sore and probably other little particles and things in there, who knows, because I've been fooling around in there. Irrigated it and um, Basically, um, it'll, I still have a little bit of irritation. Maybe there's a little piece in there. It'll, if it is, it's just like natural dust. It'll, it'll work itself out. If not, you could do another inspection, obviously. But um, I re-irrigated re the eye, and it feels a lot better now. I was panicking. I was thinking, oh, shit, emergency room. we got to go to the emergency room and do all that. Blah, blah, shebang, and money, and all the hassles, and waiting in line forever, and then tell them that they're in dire or there's something terribly wrong with you. I'm not a big fan of the disease care system. Great doctors out there, but they're very rare um, because the ones that are good are, are, are out there, are part of a disease care system. It's about many. Um, and a lot of incompetence and laziness too, even amongst nurses. It's just, it's epidemic. Um, it's unbelievable. So um, there are a lot of good PAs out there and RNs and people like that I've seen and worked with them, holistic healers and things, but that's the way I did it in a ditch medicine situation. It's easier if you have another person while you're pulling a bridle, they could be shining the flashlight with a magnifying glass or whatever and looking around in there to find it, and then you'll find it easier, but it's not going to go behind your thing. But even if it is stuck in there, you would be able to push it up and towards the lower center and pull it out. That's pretty much it. So bottom line is you need the this little deal, this is a big one, I didn't use this one. Um, that should be part of anybody's emergency kit. A pan to boil the water in, it should have a teaspoon of salt, eight ounces of water, sanitize your instruments in it, stir everything, use that saline solution, put it back up in the wood, and that's what you're going to use to irrigate. A bandana or some kind of cloth to hold the hair person's hair back, your, your hair back. And um, a mirror, you got to have a mirror. And um, patience. It took me about, at the time I researched it on YouTube, I couldn't find anybody that had done it this way. Uh, I found an eye doctor showing, do the, um, pull the eyelid up, look the other direction. But how can you, if you're alone, you can't see, because you're looking the other direction. So mine, I just pulled it up as far as I could, probably even farther, 
and looked in the mirror with the light on my eye, and there it was, bingo. I just swabbed it right up here, I swabbed it down. So it could be done. It's a little bit of ditch medicine. I've been uh, self-healing for years, and I'm, um, let's just say, late 50s. Um, and, um, you know, I'm as fit as a 26-year-old. So, um, and I do that by staying away from doctors, no offense, but um, I only go there when I absolutely have to, broken bones, stitches, something really serious. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. It can be done. It's quite simple. Don't panic. And the stuff that's remaining in there is just dust that you get from the air anyway. So maybe that what's a couple little particles, big deal. It's like the dust in the air is what I'm saying. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Have a good day. Um, I hope I got right to the point. Thanks.